All right, guys, it's time to do some more fly fishing. And uh, the last time I did a fly fishing, I did it with soft plastic. And um, I'm gonna do it again with soft plastic, but today we're gonna do some micro swim bait. This is from Euro Tackle. This is their B Vibe, two inches. What I have here, this hook is a size 10 streamer hook that I tied some thread on it so it could keep the, the bait on the hook a lot longer. Since these uh, hooks are not made for a soft plastic, it should slide off, especially with the bluegills. So hoping that you know this little mod I did will keep the plastic on. So let's slide one on and see if we catch some fish. Let's take a look at this plastic for a second. Again, it's two inches. Look at that. They use this for a lot of ice fishing, but obviously it's not ice fishing anymore. It's uh, nice and green out it's in the spring. So using this for pan fishing, it's gonna be fabulous. So let's see, let's just measure this up. So it goes to the little head. And uh, let's look at the sky for a second. You can see that it is dark. The wind is rolling through, thunderstorm is coming through. So uh, I better get some fish today. They gotta be active. All right, so yes, the, the thread looks like it's gonna keep these stuff on a lot longer because <laughs> it took a little bit to push it in. So I guess it will also take a little to pu pull it back out. So can't wait to give this a shot. I hope this sinks a little bit, but uh, since the first time I did it, I did it with some sort of lead weight that's wrapped around my wire. There's no weight here, so it should sink a lot slower, especially in these sh small, shallow ponds. It's gonna be great. Let's go catch some fish. All right, we got some rat birds here. I mean, the poo is like so big, it's like bigger than cat poo, so. Ugh. All right, so I'm just gonna scout these water. And oh, there's a bass right there. But let's just get this out there for a second, just, uh, just take a look. So the cool thing about these lures is it, it's gonna be top water a little bit, but it sinks very slow. All right, I see some small bass, some bluegill. I'm just gonna give myself some line. So I can start swinging this, but so far it's looking good. Might have to get a different color though. I mean, I like this color because I can see it. See that bluegill? There we go, first one. The bass took it. <laughs> so it's like sight fishing for bass while fly fishing. See that? He choked it. Oh, look at that. Let's just poke this out. All right, let me put this back in for a second because uh, his mouth is a little small. It's kind of hard to get him. So I'm gonna show you guys a tool if you guys haven't watched my videos before. Actually, I actually have this neat tool with me, my degouger, forger, or what you would call it, but uh, it's called unhook them. See this tool right here, unhook them. It has a little, look like a little fork thing right there. So let me just get this back out. Angle that for you guys. So there goes the hook. Just got to make sure he's, he don't have it swallowed, right? Into his stomach, I don't think. See, there we go. It was this on the roof of his mouth. I just couldn't reach it, but we're stuck here. Fish go back in. Bingo. And uh, so far, you guys look at this. The Lord didn't come out after my little modification. So it's, it's good. It's gonna be good, guys. It's gonna be a good time. All right, let's give us some more line this time. It's gonna see if I can wing this out with the wind. I'll definitely get it out further. Not bad, not too bad. All right, let's start, start stripping. I don't think I need longer than that. Let's see if we can find some panfish or bass that's willing to bite this in this bank. Oh no. So I think swinging it hard, still make it come out. Good thing I have super glue. If I need two, I can always super glue this and it should not come out. Yeah, it will come out just a little bit. So I think super glue would be ideal. But let's not whip out the super glue for now. Not until I need it. If you guys are wondering what's my orange line, it's Cast King, I, it's the Exergy. And I have this uh, Bass Pro Shop, the White, Fla uh, White River Dogwood Canyon. The real combo. I had it for a long time and then uh, left it in the garage, 
the stock line kind of broke it got like crusty and i just needed something else to replace it and i got this casting line so far so good floating line all right so one thing about these i definitely think we should do super glue and i, I actually don't have it i looked I looked in my bag is that when you're whipping these <laughs> they actually make the lure come out a little bit so gotta do it lightly until you super glue it but definitely guys if you're into fly fishing um soft plastic you gotta have some super glue Right, look at this guy. Took the whole thing in the mouth. Fat belly. There you go. I think I see a panfish very, very shallow. These are some thick blue gills. Got one. Got a bass this time. Oh yeah, that's what I'm talking about. Woo! Dude, I'm gonna be slaying it. There we go. Dink pond, very fun with the fly. Got him, got him. Whoa, you see this? This guy had some, oh, no, 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 no. All right, I, I, I got you, I got you. Look at him, look at the shape of his head. In you go. Let's try a different color. This is a blue gill pattern color. The water here is clear. And um, I think this will do it. So let's make sure I got the top right. There we go. That's rigged. It'll be hard to cast here because of the stupid wind, but uh, it's gonna be worth it. It's the wind blown side. Oh, got one. First cast too. It's a small guy. He inhaled the whole thing. Or she. I think it's a she. Oh, hey, 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 easy. Okay. Okay. In you go. Into the slop. Oops, my bad. Got him. There was a big one a second ago, but <laughs> he came out to slop. Oh, I guess I didn't hook him too good. In you go, in you go.
caro. There he goes. Something took my tail, but it should still work. It's not now like a trick bait. Oh, I had him. <laughs> Bass. Oh, got one. Damn. I think he engulfed it. Yes, he did. All right. Let's take a look. Okay, he didn't swallow it. This is this is a perfect time to use that tool again. I got my tool. Ready? Oh, just gotta twist. There we go. There you go, man. Oh, got one. Oh yeah. Oh yeah, oh yeah. Got him, got him. Yeah, I gotta stop doing that. I'm like, bolt flipping him with a fly rod. I guess it's okay, I got a size six weight, so it's, it's okay. But uh, I don't recommend you guys doing that. Cause you might snap your rod and you're playing Jimbo. But, oh no. Oh, got him. Small little guy. It's a dink pot after all. Oh, got one. Dude. That's a nice panfish. Okay. Look at that. Fly fish in action with soft plastic. Let's go. It's kind of like a Senko fishing right now with a small little dinky Senko that is. Cast it out there. Slowly pull it back. Watch a line. Boom. Got another one. Look at that. Yo. I am on fire, I think. Not really. Uh, gotta use the tool again, guys. I think I'm gonna put this tool in my hip pocket or something because it's so easy. Twist, just like that, push. And, uh-oh, oh, oh you got it. Get it out there. That one. Whoa, dude, guys, I think I hit a jackpot. I saw a bluegill coming at, after it and then all of a sudden, got the biggest bass of the day. Well, let me land it first. Let me land it first. Let me land it first. Woohoo! <laughs> all right, dude. I know it's not anything big, but fly fishing. Oh yeah, I definitely missed them. I think what, what really happened was I saw the bluegill this guy, this guy hit by bluegill and he came and nailed them right off the bluegill. <laughs> That's amazing. All right, Let's see if I can get some more. Gotta fall a little bit. Pull back, D loop. Get out in deep. Take a few steps to the left. Kind of like strafing video games. You know what I'm saying? Keep your line organized. Now good. Next spot. Kind of keep casting diagonally into the wind. I kind of like the wind blowing side fishing just like that. Because they can't see me. And I'm just pulling them left and right, guys. I can do this all day. I just don't know if you want to watch this all day. So uh, <laughs> let me just unplug this guy. All right, in you go. In you go. Dude, that's like, I don't know, a dozen of panfish already? That was quick. And this is like my my third lure. I broke two. And uh, I think this is my sweet spot. I kind of like this over the swim bait. But 
yeah, I, I know I have a ton of other um, Euro tackle lures, right? And they're not like swim bait types, it's like ice fishing stuff. And I think I want to do that more often with this because this is amazing. Holy smokes, guys. So earlier I was telling you guys that there's like small little plastic that's not a swim bait. As you can see, this is almost like a swim bait without the little paddle tail. 1.4 inches. This is uh, the Euro Grub. Again, Euro Tackle. A bunch of my ice fishing stuff that I haven't taken out for ice fishing that I've decided to take for fly fishing. So, pocket that guy. Let's measure this. I want to go through. I definitely want to go through my eyelet because it's a way of um, securing the lure too. So I'm just going to rig this up and I'll show it to you guys. Uh, let's see, I want to look right about here. All right. And I push that plastic through the, the whole thread and then through the eye. And also make sure I put the hook all at the end because that's where they got to be striking, especially those panfish. I don't want them to keep ripping my stuff, but this is it, guys. This is it. Got one. Oh, he's a huge one. Look at him, dude. Look at this guy. Look at this guy. Holy smokes. Huge gill. Look at that. Just came right out using this tool. I love it. I love it. There you go. Alright, so guys, I'm being torn up by these guys. I don't have a uh, super glue with me today so I don't want to keep losing all my plastic so I hope you guys do enjoy this video I'm gonna play around with some flies like real actual flies now but uh yeah thank you for watching if you guys actually want to see more fishing with either Euro tackle ice fishing products this summer whether fly fishing spin casting BFS fishing leave me a comment below thank you for watching guys as always tight lines Whoa! Top water fly! Holy smokes, guys! Top water popper! That's what I'm talking about! Look at this! <gasps> Top water popper! Ah. Yo, I think I should do this with a snakehead. <laughs> what do you guys think?